Hello everyone out there, welcome back to the Meandering Conversations podcast. We are back with a, another episode. I am here joined by my esteemed co, uh, co-host, who's Hello. struggling to close the door right now. <laughs> Anyways, this is a podcast where we talk about whatever the fuck we want to talk about. <laughs> And uh, we're doing another uh, tier list video, and we're doing ranking all COD uh, Treyarch zombies maps, and it's World at War through D-Machine. And this might sound weird, but I'm going to preference this with saying that Bryce here has not played BO4 or Cold War. And I've only played some of Cold War, and I haven't really... The only two maps I played in Cold War were Firebase Z and D-Machine. And D-Machine's on this list, and I can rank it because I've played that map. I've played that. Was that the first one? Yeah, the one where it's knocked. I have, like, barely played it, but... Yeah, so basically, it'll mostly be World at War through Black Ops 3. But for the Black Ops 4 maps, we'll do some interesting where I'll d explain the map to Bryce here and he'll agree where we should rank it. Anyways, we're going to start, should we start in order of when they released? Because I can do that. Uh, whatever you think's best. Let's just do it in order of release. So we got the OG Noct Dare Untoten. I see B. It, it 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 got the it got it started. The the thing that makes me like it's kind of boring. It's just boring. Yeah, it takes way too long. Like I like World at War knocked more than any other version because it's World at War weapons, so I like it. So back when the ray gun was decent, yeah, I was thinking like a B or a C. Let's say B just for nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, Verucht. Uh, one of the hardest zombies maps ever. In the World at War version... I don't want to say it's bad, because the World at War version I have some nostalgia from. The World at War version had the super sprinters, though, where they fucking just sped at you and they would fuck your ass. I'd go, like, C tier. Because it doesn't have... It has the nostalgia of Noct, but it's not as... I actually kind of like the BL1 version for some reason. Yeah, it's interesting. With Especially the, with the Winter's Howl and stuff like that. It's it's just one of those hard, like, survival maps. I, I would put it in C, like... Or maybe even D. Nah. I guess we... I didn't realize we had an, D, an A through F. Yeah, we have A through F. I'd say go C. Because it's not a map where Oh, it's ever, S through F. I'd say C. It's right in the middle. You're never really... I feel like we should move not to C. Like... Because I kind of like Verruckt more OG than OG Noct. But OG Noct, OG Noct's like the first zombie map I ever played. Yeah, fair. Because it, it also did that cool thing, like, if you did, it wasn't it like after you beat the World at War campaign, you were then... You, you like, spawn the map yeah. starts. That's cool. And, like, we're, we're not ranking the Chronicles versions or anything like that. We're the just, remastered. Yeah, we're not talking about the remastered. Even though the Giant is here, but I say it's a different enough map, but... Anyways, um, we're on to Shino Numa. That can go, like, fucking D. Honestly. Really? You I've hate... I've never been a fan of Shino Numa. I don't like that the perks are random around the map. I've never done good on that map, either. The only thing that I like about it is in World at War is it's, it's like, insanely fucking easy to get high rounds on that map, because it's glitched to all hell. That's not fun, though. I don't know. I, I, I'm I, I'm willing to give it a D because I would it's have like, more fun with the Verrocked, and I have no nostalgia for Shino Numa. I like Shino, Shino mainly Numa, because the most nostalgia I have is playing in the starting room, and that's about it. I like Shino for the little things, but yeah, I can see it going in D. I I have no problem with that. Okay, um, we got where the fu oh Darius. OG Darius has got to be A. I don't know if I'm going S with it. I don't think it's S, but it's definitely A. Just, I think the I think using World at War guns pack a punch is like some of the most fun you could ever had. But 
The map is actually really fucking difficult, though, because the Wonder Waff takes your jug if you shock yourself with it. But it's difficult enough that it put it, like, the, I think But the also the punch. zombies, like, grab onto your You can make it to round 20. Easy. Yeah, but it's difficult, because the zombies not, not also... round 20. I think past round 20 it gets really difficult, but I think... Most skilled players can make it wrong. Well, there's also just a bunch of glitches because it's World at War, but that makes me love it. Also, it has one of my favorite Pack-A-Punch camo. The World at War Pack-A-Punch camo is so spicy and fucking awesome that I love it. So, to be honest, yeah, I'll give it an A. I, I Just because it's a simple map, but I actually really like its simplicity, Oh, wait, why the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna remove this E tier. How do I fucking... Can you, you can remove it? Yeah. So we're just doing an S through F? Yeah, this undecided one I'm also just gonna delete. Yeah, I think we could probably... If we're undecided, we put it in fucking... F. <laughs> okay, now we're on to Black Ops 1 with... What the fuck is Kino? Oh, right here. Kino. To be honest... You know, I think S tier. No. I I have just... My opinion on Kino has just changed drastically. It has to be A tier then, because that's the most nostalgic map to me. And it's... I think it's it's the same level as... To me, it, to me, it's just, like, too boring and easy. Like, it's like... Sure, I have fun with the whole nostalgia thing, and it has one of my favorite Easter egg songs, 115. But to be honest, if I look back on it, I probably enjoy it as much as Knocked in this list. I would give it a B. I, I don't know. I'm feeling A tier. <sighs> it's like... The problem that I have with putting it there is, like, it's just such, like, an average, easy map. Like, I, it's fun, but I just eventually, like, once we hit round 20 on that map, I just get bored. Because it's like, you know what, just because, if for the nostalgia factor, I want to put it in B. Bryce, I want to put it in B. Okay. Do you want to flip a coin? To decide? No. It's not that big of a deal. Are you, you're fine with it going in yeah, B? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I just don't think it deserves S or A. That's just my opinion. Because I would, if you asked me would I rather play Kino or, or Darice, I would pick Darice. If it was World at War Darice, yeah, I would want to play World at War Darice. Right. It was fun. Um, five. I kind of want to put it B, or even A. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nostalgic to me, and I, I think it's a fun map. I could go back and play it. I'm okay with A. Because the reason why I like it more than Kino is it's hard. Like, that's the thing I like about it. And it's such, like, such more of an interesting concept for a map, even though, like... True, it's not like the... I feel like Kino and Duris play by a certain formula that's yeah. pretty easy, and... Five's just kind of hectic. And well, originally, Kino was supposed to be a World at War map, but they had adapted it into Black Ops 1. Five was? No, Kino. Oh, I was going to say. Yeah. The five would make no sense. To be honest, yeah, I kind of want to put it in A, even though it's a difficult map, but I feel like that's the point. As JFK himself said when you start the map, do not pray for easy lives, my okay. friends. Pray to be stronger men. I also just love all those characters, except the fucking boring-ass CIA agent, whatever his at, Robert McNamara. Is that his name? Yeah, that sounds right. But I like Nixon, like, someone's breaking in! <laughs> I, yeah, to be honest, I want to put it in A. I like five. I don't know why. It's also just like a cool, like the, the mechanics of the map, even though one thing that I will say I hate about 5 are the teleporters. The teleporters fucking suck. I like the Wonder Gun, I like pack punching. In the war room, yeah. and the fire sale. Dope. But no, um, 
I do hate the teleporters, though, because, like, you just go through them sometimes, and you just, it's like an endless fucking loop of going through them. It's annoying. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm willing to give it an A. Okay, Ascension. Right, that's the next one? Yeah, Ascension's the next one. Yeah. The first map to have an first Easter strike. egg. Yeah, because it was part of the first strike map pack. Yeah. But, um, first map to have an Easter egg. No, you don't have an Easter egg. Okay, I mean, like, a full-length Easter egg. Because technically, Doris had an Easter egg with the fly trap. Fly trap. Yeah. So, I'm feeling either a B or a C. I really don't care about Ascension that much. I like Ascension a lot, but I'm okay with putting it in C tier. Because, like, I... Things I like about it are Gersh, and I like the. They did a lot of cool stuff with it. Yeah, I like the I like the aesthetic of the map. It's just like it's one of those. It's exactly like Kino, where it's just too easy, in my opinion. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, especially once you get PhD. Yeah, PhD on that map, fucking. Even though that's my favorite perk, it 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 just fucking destroys. I need to check the pizza. Sorry. It's fine. And okay. So next map, Call of the Dead, S, straight S. Yeah. George, like the whole th that characters, was, the yeah, design the of the map, the layout of the map, wonder weapon. Well, the to boss. be honest, the VR eleven I fucking hate. Is that the human? Yeah, that gun? thing sucks. But the scavenger, I love. I love the scav. It's one of my favorite wonder weapons. Is the scavenger. But, yeah, I just love the aesthetic of the map. I, I love how the map plays. I feel like it plays out very well. Even though George can get annoying sometimes, you either just need to get the scavenger or... Uh, isn't it, like, snipers that do damage to him? Yeah. So. I mean, it's a little easy, I would say, but... It, it's... It, it, the, 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 the reasons why I don't think it's as easy as Kino or... Uh, Is because of George. George and the water. That's why I think, and I like the moving pack a punch. How you have to follow the, the light. light. Yeah, no. I, I all really the dead like was it. very the, ahead of its time. The only problem I have with it is all the fog in the map that sometimes gets. No, I like that. It's, it's the good as as the aesthetic of it. But do you like the fog in transit? No, because there's fucking <laughs> hell babies in them. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, Call of the Dead S tier. Love that map. Um. Where's Shang? Shangri-La. Sh I have not played... It's right oh. there. I haven't really played it enough. That map... I feel like I would like... It's a map I would like. It's but insanely it hard. More. Yeah. The baby gun I like. The the one where you like... Yeah, I like the idea of it. I like the... 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 The The Moors. The like, Moors. Yeah. 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 The thing is... I mean, there's no, like, really crazy guns on it. It's just normal Black Ops 1 guns, right? And Besides then the baby the, gun. Is yeah. there any special, like, assault rifle no, on it? Or... No. There's things that... I I don't mind... I don't mind the boss zombies, the Inferno. I like watching people do high round attempts on it. It's a hard map. Yeah. Like, the thing, though... Seeing people do camping strategies yeah, on but... it is very fun. I like the monkeys that steal the perks and you and can chase them down. And then you can get down. a free perk or, like, a you can, max ammo. You chase them down. I would give it a beer... I would give it I'd a B. See. I'd go C. C. I also haven't played it enough, but I would go C. Yeah, because... I don't think it's better than Kino or Noct. Mm, yeah. I it, would it's, say it's at the it's same sometimes, level. It sometimes is, like, the too hard, and it's, like, not enjoyable at some moments. So, yeah. Right. I, and then we got... Oh, one more for Black Ops 1. Moon. Moon. I've had a lot of fun with Moon. I hate... It's right there. It's I'm right next, two blind. over from where you are, two to the right. Oh, okay. Um, I, I like the, to be honest, I think that Moon is the best Zombies Chronicles mm -hmm. remaster. Because I just love, everybody has said this though, but the aesthetic of that map completely changes. And I really, see, so yeah, I feel like Moon had the best glow up in Zombies Chronicles. The original Moon... I kind of just see it as just like a gray blandish. Like, I like it, but I wouldn't see myself going back to play that version. I would just probably play the Chronicles version. PhD. It's kind of ahead of its time, though. Yeah, I know. I like it. It's not bad by any... I'd say we go B with it. 
I was thinking B or it's C. It's better than... Mm, no. I, I kind of like it at the same thing as Shangri-La, like... Okay. If you're fine... I'd... We can go C tier with it. Do you want to go B? I, I'm just, like, I feel like I agree with you with the Chronicles thing, so I guess maybe if we're just basing it off of Normal Moon, we could go C tier with it. Yeah, because you got to remember, we're doing the originals, so, yeah. Now, <laughs> on to the... To be honest... Are we doing transit? Are we doing the maps separately? Nope, just transit. We can count the other maps in transit if we want to affect our opinion on that because we wouldn't have those I other really maps. I don't think it's going to change it that much. Because all the sep individual maps within transit are kind of just too fucking easy. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, like, farm is kind of hard. Farm and bus depot, depot are, are kind of hard. hard. I'm going to have to say D tier. It's fun, but it's if we're basing it just off of it being good maps, I don't hold a lot of nostalgia for transit. Like, Supra so my I have the complete opposite opinion than you. I have such nostalgia for transit. And to be honest, I just see it as just a fun map. It's, it's objectively garbage, but I find it fun. Like, I don't think it's the worst. So yeah, I'm fine with D. Like I, I like transit. It, it's a lot of oh, nostalgia. Because it's fun, but it's kind of just trash. It's really, Treyarch dropped the ball on that fucking map. Mm -hmm. It had way more potential than it lived up to. I think it was also limited to the engine that it was on. All right, now what do we got? What's this? What's the first? Nuketown. Nuketown. Shit. I know. No, it's just like our opinions are gonna vary on this. I one. don't. I don't hate Newtown at all. I just think it's kind of boring. I like it. It's too small. The only Way reason why small. I really like that map is because the falling perk things, which makes it like an interesting challenge, and the M twenty seven, because that's the only map it's on, and it's a really fun AR. I'd say like C tier. Yeah, I'm willing to. I couldn't see it going any higher for me. It's just like. It's just kind of boring. Yeah. It gives me... It's like ta it's like an upgraded version of town. It's a more it's interesting... Like town, it's a harder version It's literally version town, of town, but a little more interesting. And harder, yeah. I I really like Nuketown. Okay, this one, Die Rise. I've barely fucking played I've this I've played map. it... I've played it to the point where like I've gotten decent high rounds with friends on it. And it's enjoyable. I like the aesthetic a lot, and I like the cyclifier... I'm it's willing It's kind of just fucking difficult. I just want to put it in F. I don't want to go F. I fucking hate I don't think it's worse rise. than... <laughs> I'm willing to... I've had to... fun with it. Fair. And the Sliquifier was, like, the best wonder weapon at one point. I'd I say, do... I'd say D tier. Yeah. I want to put it in F, but, yeah, we can put it in D. I think we could play it more. Fair. I, I've just not heard very good things about it, so that doesn't make me want to play the map anymore. And then, don't they have those, like, fucking cracked out... That's well, not Nova? being objective, though. Yeah, I know. Don't they have those, like, cracked... Yeah, the Nova Crawler's cool, because you can get perks from them. Yeah, but you have to not miss a shot. Yeah. I'd say deer is... You know, a D is good. I'm fine with the tier. I'm fine with that. What do we got next? What's the second DLC? Bob the Dead. That's an S tier. Yeah. I can't find it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Mob of the Dead, straight S tier. Yeah. Fucking love the characters, the love map, the story. The setting, the time. All of the, the fucking, guns. The pack-a-punch camo, I the love boss. all of it. The one thing. The boss, the, the getting two pack-punch is fun. Pa the pack-punch itself is fun. I kind of find Brutus annoying at some points. No. I hate how he locks down shit. That's just kind of annoying. The tomahawk, yep. all the little upgrades and stuff you can do on the map. Getting to blunder, but like this, it's practically so much a, stuff in that map. That's practically do. a BO3 map. Yeah, I'd say it's better than a BO3 map. Yeah, but I'm saying S tier. I fucking love mob. Afterlife was dope. I love the blunder gat. Probably one of my favorite wonder weapons. That's the most. That's one map that I'll always go back and play. I love, like, the unique trap thing with, like, the sniper trap. The one thing that I would also want either on that map is either Mule Kick or Stamina Up. Stamina Up, really? Mule Kick, I would like. 
The, the reason why I would want stamina up is because you have to run around that map so much to get That's the fucking map. fuel canisters. I feel like PhD would be not overpowered and actually be useful on that map. No, the one map that PhD would have been useful in is Die Rise. True. But if PhD was in mob, that would be very fun. It's in the <laughs> grief version. You can see it on the docks. Yeah. Yeah. You can right also you can see PhD in. There's the everything game. about the aesthetic of that map. It's I like, did, yeah, I fucking love mob. Kind of like horns the devil in a weird way. It's yeah. very satanic. Yeah, and I love the. It, it, isn't it like the revealed? Is good. Isn't it revealed that they're like in hell? Yeah, they're in like purgatory. They're, not, they're in purgatory. They're just living a and little, like little life and the thing. whole Easter egg thing with like you fight the other player. Yeah. That was fun. And like if you and it, so if the if the mobsters kill the weasel, the cycle continues. But if the weasels kill, if the weasel kills the mobsters, then the cycle ends, which is the good ending because they don't have to repeat this torment anymore. I love mob. Yeah. Okay. Um. Maybe one of my favorite cutscenes too. <laughs> Nine thirty-five. The weasel goes into a song and dance routine. Batter origins. Origins. Pretty. Let's take a moment. Okay, well, we haven't gotten to Origins yet. We're on Buried. Easy, but a really fun map. I feel like it's just, there's so much in it. That, that makes, makes me it like it, yeah. Like, but I don't think it's very, it, I don't really like the play, playing aspect of it. It's kind of too fucking easy. If they didn't have the bank, I feel like the game, the... Not even. It's just such a fucking easy map. You can get points so easy. Yeah. Like, even without the bank, you can get points, perma perks. But I kind of like that at the same time. I where like, it's like it, the... but I don't think it's... I want to go B tier with it, honestly. I was thinking A. I'm going to have to fight on this one. I think it's B tier. <sighs> it, I feel it, like it's just too fucking easy. Yeah, it, 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 it's it gets, nowhere to, it gets no, monotonous. It, Barry does not go in the same category as Darius and Five. Yeah, no. It's good. I don't I don't hate that map at all. I just think it's too easy. Like I don't even want to play it. It's so easy. They or, did a lot of cool stuff in it though. Yeah. I I, I like it for how unique it is. I love the which is cool. The, the paralyzers, we wouldn't get the ray gun mark 2 if the aesthetics cool. Yeah. The guns are all cool. The Remington paralyzer. The use of Leroy was cool. Mhm. Mm that was probably the coolest part of the map, honestly, is the use of Leroy. Mhm. Mm like having a Vault trade. I like that map. Um, we're on Origins. I feel like we have to go last year with it. Yeah, t because the Chronicles version is worse. My no, I like I like OG Origins. Yeah, the staff. I'm only giving it S because I realize that it's such a important map for it, for ma the zombies' history. But at the same time, I'm like, I do have fun playing it. The only thing that it's I kind of... The only thing that I have a kind of problem with is, like, you can't really play it in, like, multiple play styles. Like, most of the time when you play that map, it's like, okay, let's go for staffs. Then you have to do the repeating actions. Which is, like... I like when I have variety in what I can do. I like that map because there's always something to do. And it's not like the earlier maps where it's very simplistic. There's a lot to do. No, and the I, aesthetic, everything about it. First, is sick. elemental wonder weapons. Yeah. Nah. The robots are sick. The Panzer are aesthetic. Sick. I like it. Also, probably my Pack favorite starting ammo weapon. Is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Mauser, all the guns in it. MG08. STG. <laughs> you can get you. Can you get the Tommy gun on there? Yeah. You can get the Tommy gun, Scorpion. Um. Scar. Scar. For some reason, like, they added they all added the... added just a bunch of... They added all the cool ballista. weapons to the one map that you don't use guns on, because you get staffs. Yeah. <laughs> KSG is always so fun to use. Yeah, no. It's, like, the only problem I have with it is that, like, you have to play it in kind of, like, a honed direction. You don't have to. I just feel like you're... It's not going to be as enjoyable if you don't do that. I don't know. It's just my opinion. But I, I still enjoyed it. We got Shadows of Evil. S. Fuck. Straight S. It's hard. 
I want to, I feel like B because I don't know if it's as good as Origins or Mob or Call. B or do you mean A? Or A, I mean. Dude, let me, let it's me. It's like ask. slightly less as cool as the other ones and slightly less as fun. I actually kind of like Shadows because it combines like elements from both Origins and Mob. Because you get the. I feel like Origins and Mob both did all the aspects that are in that better. I don't know. I love Shadows, man. I always will go back and play that. I love the weird-ass tentacle aesthetic they were going for. I love, like, the, the jazzy, like, uh, jazzy 19, like, 20s aesthetic of the map. I love, even though I will say I don't like the weapons as much because they're BO3 yeah. weapons. That's my thing. Look at, think of all the guns on those other maps. But can, yeah. but but is that really Shadow's fault or the game's fault? It's still a part of the map. I want to put it in S. That's one of my favorite maps. I think if you look at the rest of Black Ops Three, it's probably probably one of my favorites out of Black Ops Three. Even I disagree. At least Black I'm, Ops Three is very good, but I don't know if it's. Fine, we can put it in A. It's not bad, but I don't think it deserves us tier. I think it's on the I same I think there's small things. I think there's small things. things about it that I love the sword, the mark was. I love all the like the ritual like I love that, to, but S tier is like damn near perfect. I think it's damn near perfect. No? Okay. That's fine. Um Where's Derizendraka? No, the giant. Oh yeah, the giant's next. See, <laughs> I mean, it's no, like, I don't know. <laughs> it it's like the easy chill map that you don't have to put a lot of focus into. Yeah. I guess we could go see. I mean, it's like I don't hate it. No, I enjoyed it a lot when it first came out. But I, one, I, I just would prefer playing Doris. Is the thing. It's like, yeah. See, I don't, I don't really care that much about the giant. It's fine. Like I'm not. If they added a bit more to the map and, like, scoped it out a bit, I think I would like it more, but... Just can't stand up to the original Duris. Okay, now Durizendraka. I kind of want to give it A. I was going to say A. It's, I'd say it's just as good as Shadows, and it's the same thing. It's just the when weapons. it comes to Origins and Mob of the Dead, that it's like those maps, but it's not. I don't think it's as good. Yeah. But it is very good. I enjoy so much stuff about that map. I love the bows. I love, I love the whole like quest to getting the them. The aesthetic is sick. The dragon shit is sick. Have you ever tried the Easter egg? Yeah. That Easter egg, I fucking. We, I, we've almost, I've almost beat the Easter egg. See, the only reason why I beat it is because I had an overpowered gobble gum into the boss fight. So, that's the only reason why I beat it. But, yeah, no, from all the times that I've failed, I just don't want to play that map ever again. But I probably will. So, I'm going to do A. I like it. Panzer 2.0 is cool. I, I prefer the original, though. I like the grappling hook attack. Not I just the, don't like the guns. Yeah. Besides Haymaker's the cool. And KRM. But that's in every single... What about the RPK? They added those to the... Well, that was one Chronicles but game. But it was out, after, so. yeah. yeah. I didn't really play it at that point. And whenever I do play it, those are the guns that I steer towards. I don't know. I like some BO3 weapons. I like the Draken. I like, I like the Haymaker. Haymaker. I l literally, I think... I like the Dingo. I think Haymaker is the only one that I really care to use. Some this, of the DLC weapons. Besides the like. remastered, like, older guns. Galil and okay. RPK. Zetsbo no Shima. I'm giving that bitch an A. Yeah. You're fine with that? I like Zetsbo a lot. I like the guns in it. Yeah, because they have those, like, dual-wield pistols, yep. the the Razorback, yep. the... Don't they have, like, another version of the... MP40. Yeah. <laughs> the HG. That probably has one of my favorite Easter eggs. I just like the aesthetic of it a lot. I also, have you ever gotten the Wonder Weapon? I like the boss, yeah, the Wonder Weapon's sick. Have you actually fought the Takio boss, or did you only fight the Spider boss? The Spider boss, and I was talking about, like, the 
The things that swallow you. Oh, yeah, those are a cool idea. Even though, like, they there's a fuck ton of them and they don't give you points, but I'm fine with that. And then the... The heck, spider's cool. The skull. The, the... Yeah, 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 the ritual shit. Yeah, I like all that shit. I actually really like Zetsubo. Yeah, I do too. I don't know why so many people hate that map. Like, I think uh, Black Ops 3 overall was just, like... I like the pack of It was just camo. well done. Yeah. All the maps they added, they took, put a lot of work into it, and it like kind of the fruits of their labor definitely showed in that end product. Yeah, I I really enjoy Setsubo. I don't know why so many people hated it. Probably has one of the best cutscenes when like Takio is confronting his older self and like. Yeah, I wish I played more Easter that. eggs when I was interested in zombies, but. E the Easter egg is fun. Um, I will admit the Easter egg's fun. Um, we got Gorod Kriovi. Cross tier. You put. You yes. put yes. shadows in yes. A. Gorod is so fun. It, so fun. So cool. The hatchery, like, everything about the fucking Gorod is so fucking sick. Gorod Kriovi. Yeah. Best shield. The dragon shield, yeah, that thing is cool. Dragon shield, the dragons in it are sick as hell. The guns are sick as hell. Wonder weapons, perfect. The... Raygun Mark III. Yeah, and then the gauntlet... Dragon. Gauntlet, gauntlet, sick. Dragon strikes. The whole Easter egg is <sighs> sick as hell. Yeah, but you no. You Gorod is shadows. so much cooler than shadows. Yeah, no. The boss fight. That fight. Gorod I love is that so boss. much cooler. Yeah, no. Gorod going straight. The specialty S rounds. It has dogs and. I love the Valkyries. The those fucking things that look yes. like the things from the Matrix. No, they look more like they give me fucking um. They give me the vibe. They give me Incredibles vibe. Oh, the the fucking like, the the, the ball ro robot. The ball robot. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's yeah, that's what it gives me. PPSH. Yeah, even though I like the World at War PPSH better, but PPSH. Be cool. Probably best Black Ops Three pack camo. Actually, no, best I like Black Shadows. Ops 3 map. No, Shadows is the best for me. Disagree, but. Okay, now you're gonna know none of this. Um, <laughs> is that it? Yeah, that's it for the stuff you know. The rest of this is me. I've played. You've played D Machine. No, you're missing one Black Ops Three map. Oh wait, Revelation. <laughs> Sorry. Which I don't care for, but I've played it. It's super fucking easy. I like the aesthetic of the map, but it's just kind of boring. I feel like it was too all over the place that it was almost like not good. I kind of want to just. I feel like it, the like, rest of the Black Ops Three maps headed in a very specific direction with the aesthetic and like mm -hmm. the point of the map, and then mm -hmm. Revelations came out and it was just all over the place, and it's like. And they added like a bunch of shit back. The Easter egg, I fucking hate that Easter egg. It is so goddamn complicated. I don't like it. But um, I think they just needed to like find a way to top off the. But the, like I don't like the, they adding all the past maps and I don't like that idea. It just seems lazy. D. Yeah, I don't really care for Reb. Okay, now you know nothing. I'll explain. These all right, to you. now the rest of these are F tier. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> okay, so Blood of the Dead. It is a remake of Mob of the Dead. I've played it like once. You've played Blood? With you. You did? I think we tried playing it once. So, it's Mob of the Dead, but ten times shittier. That's how I explain it. So, one, they remove the whole afterlife thing. Two, the... The fucking Hell's Retriever is just shit at, in that because they add in better s grenades that you can use. Um, BO4 systems just suck overall. <laughs> really? <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to do? Drag the poop emoji over it. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, over the rest of these maps. Yeah, so, no, Blood is straight F. Like, I... The only cool thing is they add another version of the Blundergat called the Magma Gat, and that's cool. And the story is kind of interesting. One gun is not enough to make a map. Yeah, no, the map is shitty. I hate it. Um, we have Voyage of Despair. This map... Is it stars the Chaos storyline, which is a completely separate storyline from uh, Nikolai Richtof and the OG crew. Okay? And it takes place on the Titanic. 
that sounds really cool, doesn't it? No. It's not. <laughs> that sounds stupid as shit. So they add annoying bosses called the. So there's these things called blight fa blight fathers that have pimples on their back that are insanely hard to kill. There are these things called stokers, which are napalm zombies, but less cool. The only redeeming qualities of this map are the wonder weapon, which is a triple barrel cannon. That's cool. Like it's a hell. It's like a handhold cannon that you shoot. Which is cool. And then the boss fight's actually cool. You fight this giant, like, mystical eye. I actually had fun in that boss fight. So. These all just sound way too, just, like, over the top and, like, they're running out of ideas. And they're they were. They're, like, they're just <laughs> stuffing as much bullshit. Like, Titanic. Who gives a fucking shit? I'm gonna give that an F, though. Even if it it, it has some redeeming qualities, but I still don't like it. Well, um, I gotta switch my laundry. You can keep explaining. <laughs> I, I'm not obtaining any information. From Go. So yeah, Voyage of Despair. The map just plays awful. The the setup is completely fucked. It's just not an enjoyable experience. And the Easter egg is hell. Because I'm going to explain a step to you. You have to go to this little planetary diorama, Bryce. You have to hold square on it it shows you the order of what planets you have to shoot in the sky you then have to shoot each planet go run pick up something then shoot the next one without dying or running out of time it's annoying as fuck i hate that map <laughs> okay um nine this is actually a pretty enjoyable map is up to five like no nine is it's like takes place in a Roman Colosseum, and they're just like <laughs> no. Th but this map actually plays decent. Turn that sorry, sorry. <laughs> so the map actually plays kind of decently because they have this like whole centered area that is pretty much a good training spot. And then you have just like four separations on the side where each perk is. And then there's Pack-A-Punch down below. It's it's a very simplistic map design that I think works very well. It's just Black Ops 4 systems kind of make it shitty. I've never tried the Easter egg, so I can't say if the Easter egg is good or not. But I do like the Wonder Weapon, the Circuit's Kiss. It's this... It's like a Wonder Waff, but it's a scorpion that shoots electricity. It's just all sounds like they ran out of ideas and just smoked crack. I'm gonna give it a B. And they smoked crack and they're like, yeah, these fucking wild ass maps we made are really gonna... Um, so, it's hard for me to explain how the map plays because, in my opinion, they play well. Some of them do. It's just BO4 system is ass. Um, classified. This is the remake of 5. They make it very easy... They also removed the Pentagon Thief, which I don't like, because I actually like the Pentagon Thief. But they do make some improvements. The Winter's Howl is actually a good uh, wonder weapon. It actually does something, so, you know, it's not ass. <laughs> These maps are all just... And then it, when you teleport to Pack-A-Punch, you go to Area 51 from Moon. so random i know i i but no it actually kind of plays well because with the teleporters there's like a little icon that shows you where you're going so like you know where you're going when you hop into it it but it changes randomly so the teleporters work better in my opinion yeah the teleporters in five are kind of they they make that better i'm willing to give it a, a b i like it okay um Dead of the Night. Uh, this one takes place in a rich guy's mansion where there's werewolves, vampires, and that's it. The feel of the map I like decently. It has a nice, like, gothic atmosphere. The one thing, the, the thing that makes me not like this map as much is two things. Well, the Wonder Weapon is cool. It's like this pistol... That is, like, an energy pistol, and when you upgrade it, it, like, you charge it, then you either, like, do, like, a poison attack, you do a fire attack, or you do, like, a tornado attack. 
The Wonder Weapon's pretty cool. The characters fucking suck. And the map, you have to collect a bunch of parts to do anything, and, like, I don't remember any of these part locations, so you have to walk around the map just holding fucking square to find the part locations, which is annoying. But... Um, the one thing that makes me hate this map are the bosses. The werewolves are fucking impossible to kill unless you have silver bullets, which is a thing. You have to craft silver bullets to upgrade your weapons to kill werewolves. And then these things called Nosferactus, which are fast-ass running vampires. And here's the best part, Bryce. If they hit you, you don't regenerate for a certain amount of time. This is just all... <laughs> Sounds like dead end ideas. I actually kind of like it, so I'm gonna give it C. Um, we got Ancient Evil, which takes place in an underground Roman city. This is probably my favorite out of the Chaos maps. There's these, um, the bosses are kind of annoying in this. There's skeletons that the only ways you can kill them is by shooting the head. If you don't shoot them in the head, they come back. And there's, like, these four-armed, big-dick guys who are just hard to kill and not fun to deal with. But other than that, I, f I like the map a lot. There's these gauntlets, and you just gotta pick up, like, a like a non-upgraded gauntlet, then you go to a shrine and just do, like, a simple little challenge, and then you get the, uh, you get the upgraded gauntlet, which I like that, that it's a simple upgrade process. It it, it's hard for me to explain this to you when... I've never played it. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it a B, because that's just my opinion. Last two maps, Alpha Omega, a remake of Nuketown Zombies, except they add a bunker underneath it, and they add elemental ray guns. There's one ray gun that is dual wield. I was gonna eat that. Okay. There's one ray gun that's a dual-wield ray gun. There's one that's like a charge-up explosion ray gun, one that's an electric beam ray gun, and one that's a shotgun. Those are the only interesting parts of the map. The story's interesting, the rest of it sucks. So I'm gonna give it a D. Um, Togder Toten, remake of Call of the Dead. Completely just mediocre map, C. D Machine. You've actually played this. Yeah, it was kind of lame, though. I like D Machine. I like the Wonder Weapon. I'm just going to give it a B. Sorry if we have any... Sorry if we have any Black Ops 4 or Cold War fans and wanted us to do a serious um, ranking of those maps. But Bryce really hasn't played them, and I'm getting tired of explaining about those maps. I will never play them. Bryce will never play them, so you will never get that from us. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe down below. This is our tier list, showing it real quick. I think it's decent, right? Yeah. I still think Shadows should have been S, but that's my opinion. That's your tier list, though. This is our tier list. Our collective tier we, list. Oh, we don't both agree that Shadows is S tier, so... So that means it's A? Do you agree with all the A tiers we have? I mean, yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm surprised Zetsubo got A tier, but both of us like that map, so... No, I like Zetsubo a lot. Yeah, I like Zetsubo. I'm sim I'm, I'm, I don't necessarily agree with Shang getting a C, but it's fine. You think it needs to be less? No, I think it needs to be hi higher, but... Really? Yeah. That's just uh, my opinion. I think it's a fine tier list. Oh, the only F good. maps are shitty Black Ops 4 maps. I thought Die Rise was going to get an F, but you advocated it. But you haven't it. played it, so I feel like you don't have... I haven't played it that much, so yes, I, I don't have a fair, objective review of it. It's just, it doesn't seem like a fun map. I don't know. That's just my opinion. But I'll obviously, these, these tier list videos are just our opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. Name if you disagree or agree with anything on these tier lists. Please comment any other topics you guys would like us to do. Uh, share this podcast if you want to. I would appreciate that. Make sure to like, subscribe down below. And any final thoughts? Dick Cheese McGee? 
no. Oh, Jesus. Um, no. He's like, going to play Black Ops 2 right now, so... I'm probably going to play Mob of the Dead. See y'all later. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>